upon us your breath of life your breath that is fire your breath that is power indeed change our lives do something that only you can do tonight let every heart here that is burning experience liberty let every problem tonight receive its solution let everyone live with a testimony. Let there be miracles in this place. We thank you for the ministry of angels. We thank you for the ministry of angels. We thank you for your power that is so mighty in this place. And we thank you for greater things that you will do in our midst. Blessed be your name. In Jesus name. Amen. I want you to just hug one or two persons warmly. Let them know that we are here to witness the power of God in their lives. That's the sound of victory. Hallelujah. Amen. <laughs> okay, give Jesus a big shout of praise. Welcome you to April's Miracle Service. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory be to the Lamb of God. I want you to know that even though you came prepared tonight, you'll be surprised at what God will do in your life. I'm speaking to you. I'm not speaking to everybody. I'm speaking to you. You will be surprised and you will marvel at what God will do in your life today. If tonight is your night, let me hear a big amen. amen. How many of you are ready for a fresh anointing? How many of you love to receive a fresh anointing? I want your heart to be open. Listen, make sure you are not distracted. I want your heart to truly be open. Be ready to receive something from the Lord. And I trust that the Lord will glorify His name. The power of God is so strong in this place. And I tell you tonight, there will be miracles. There will be healings of every kind. Amen. And you are going to receive a touch from the Lord. Luke chapter 8 verse 40. Holy, holy, are you Lord God Almighty? Worthy is the Lamb, worthy is the Lamb, you are holy. Oh, 
God who 
there's going to be a very strong activity of the angels of God in this place even right now the angels of the Lord are here and they're standing by God is about to release a mighty move of his spirit in our midst it's going to clothe us with his glory it's going to clothe us with his power like never before
<laughs> There is nothing to hide for you of the Lord is upon you whether you are following online whether you are outside whether you are inside the glory of the Lord is upon everyone that is connected to this service right now God is doing amazing things already mighty mighty move of his spirit tonight you are seated wherever you are the Lord showed me a vision this is not for you to say amen I just want to act out what the Spirit of God showed me there are people that God is about to touch right now I feel a very strong activity of angels here I saw in a vision this afternoon I saw fire coming on the heads of some people literal fire coming on their heads and they were not consumed and I heard the spirit said to me tell them it is a grace for uncommon results and unusual spiritual stamina no no it's not for you to say amen it's going to come on some people right now I saw that fire come right now and the angel of the Lord that will usher that is right here standing right now so there are 13 to 14 of you at least it is meant to rest upon you because it's a new season for you it is a double-edged grace that is coming on you uncommon results and unusual spiritual stamina there are 13 to 14 of you right now by the ministry of the angelic let it rest upon you now let that fire rest upon you right now 13 to 14 of them 13 to 14 of just help them literal fire of the holy ghost is a grace for all is a grace of common results of common results and unusual spiritual stamina is a double-edged grace step into it right now step into it right now step into it now in the name of jesus that's what the lord is saying this season for you is going to see it's going to be a season of a double-edged grace uncommon results get ready to do the supernatural get ready to walk in the extraordinary get ready to flow in an unusual anointing of common results and declaring it again that fire is coming upon them that fire is coming upon them let it 
rest upon you right now. Let it rest upon you now. Balon saha brandon kretelo mai bronda suka bai. Jem brokato bramisko pabala hatwa. Avairu shaba. Kishta ala sambo brotola broskomai. on people that grace is still coming on people that's what the lord said for you this season it's going to be a double edged grace get ready for uncommon results whether you are in ministry whether you are a businessman or woman whether you are a career person it's a season for common results and unusual stamina in the spirit some of you will pray and last in prayer like never before. Not by might, not by power, but by my spirit. We cry, Abba Father, hallowed be your name. Ia Santa Mahataya, hallowed be your name. Hallowed be your name. We cry, our Father. Hallowed be your name. Hallowed be your name. Hallowed be your name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. upon you tonight. Divine, divine, that's a name I'm mentioning. Divine, 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 come real quick. Divine, you're divine too. You love God. You see, God showed me a vision. Don't worry, God showed me a vision that you were. I saw your face, but God told me there will be one more person called divine. Stand up. I want to release a grace on the two of you. It's a new season for you. It's not a new season because you entered a new month. It's a new chapter for your life. Lift your two hands. I release that grace. And here's what the Spirit of God is saying. He say it is time to go higher. Right now, receive that grace. Step into dimensions of the Spirit. Now, in the name of Jesus, let that grace rest upon you like never before. Step into a higher dimension at the count of three. One, two, three, touch in the name of Jesus. It is time to go higher, says the Spirit of the Lord.
excuse me is there somebody i don't know if i don't i don't know if the person may be here but i'm hearing a name like mirabel and based on what i'm seeing i don't know if there's a mirabel mirabel here but based on what i'm seeing god is talking to me about the sister of somebody the sister sister or friend or something just help them it's like this is related to you like a sister or a friend and i heard that name mirabel everyone that is called matter just stand where you are everyone that is called matter just stand where you are i didn't say they should come out just stand where you are everyone that is called matter the lord is releasing a grace upon every one of you standing now a grace for enlargement they say oh that thou will bless me indeed and enlarge my coast whether it's your finances whether it's the measure of the anointing that is coming on your life or the anointing that is operational on your life every area of your life is going to experience enlargement this season now father i stretch my right hand from my left to my right hand side let the angels of the lord that are present begin to walk i release that grace upon everyone called matter whether on ground or following online the grace for enlargement step into that grace now in the name of jesus may the lord enlarge you on every side on every side on every side on every side receive that grace in a double measure receive it right now receive it now jesus luke chapter 8 I'm still hearing that name, Mirabel. Mirabel, like a friend or a sister. I didn't say miracle, I said Mirabel. This is like a friend or a sister to somebody here. But I don't know if there's anybody with that name, whether following online, inside or outside. Luke chapter 8. Please make sure nobody just comes out. Verify before they come out. Luke chapter 8 verse 40. Jesus is here. Restore, oh Father, revive us again. Holy Spirit, thou art welcome. In Spirit, thou art welcome in this place, omnipotent Father of mercy and grace, thou art welcome in this place. There's somebody here. There's somebody here. You are a pastor. You have the calling of a pastor. You have a pastoral calling on your life. Specifically, I'm seeing a young man. But it could be more. The Lord said, He's putting upon you right now the fire for revival. You are going to carry a fire for revival. You have the calling of a pastor. You know that's your calling. But there's a grace coming on you. There's a fire that will rest on you for revival. And wherever you go, there will be deposits of that fire, of that grace in the lives of men. 
God is going to use you to change the narratives in the lives of believers everywhere you go. Now there are at least five people that I'm seeing that that grace will come upon. In fact, one of you will feel like heat on your eyes. Both your eyes, you'll feel heat. You'll feel heat. Father, where is that pastor? Where are those five people? Let that revivalist anointing, that revivalist fire, come mightily upon them right now. 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 Take that grace. Take that grace. Become an end time revivalist. Become an end time revivalist. That fire rests upon your life. You will never be the same again. Never be the same again. Never be the same again. Luke chapter 8. If you are hungry tonight, you will truly receive. Luke chapter 8 from verse 40. So it was when Jesus returned that the multitude welcomed him. I'm not going to preach for long. We are going to stand to pray. I'm going to pray for the sick tonight. And we are going to trust God for miracles in this place. Luke chapter 8 verse 40. So it was when Jesus returned that the multitude welcomed him. For they were all waiting for him. Go on. And behold, there came a man named Jairus, and he was a ruler of the synagogue. And he fell down at Jesus' feet and begged him to come to his house. For he had an only daughter, about 12 years of age. Take note of that. And she was, ah, there's somebody around this place here. Yeah. I'm seeing the fire of God coming on your legs, both your legs. There's someone around. Just help them. For he had an only daughter about 12 years of age. And she was dying. But as he went, as he went, the multitude stronged him. Now a woman having a flow of blood for 12 years. Who had spent all her livelihood on physicians and could not be healed by any came from behind and touched the border of his garment and immediately her flow of blood stopped please go on faster and jesus said who touched me when all denied it peter and those with him said master the multitude strong and press you and you say who touched me but jesus said somebody touched me for i perceived power going out from me now when the woman saw that she was hidden, she came trembling and falling down before him. She declared to him in the presence of all the people the reason she had touched him and how she was healed immediately. And he said to her, daughter, be of good cheer. Your faith has made you well. Go in peace. While he was still speaking, someone came from the ruler of the synagogue's house saying to him, your daughter is dead. Do not trouble the teacher. But when Jesus heard it, he answered him, saying, Do not be afraid, only believe. Tell your neighbor, only believe. Talk to the other neighbor and say, only believe. And she shall be made well. When he came into the house, he permitted no one to go in except Peter, James, and John, and the father and the mother of the girl. Now all wept and mourned for her. But he said, Do not weep. She is not dead, but sleeping. And they, and they ridiculed him, knowing that she was dead. But he put them all outside, took her by the hand, and called, saying, Little girl, arise. Then her spirit returned, and she arose immediately. And he commanded that she be given something to eat. And her parents were astonished. But he charged them to tell no one what had happened. The Lord bless the reading of his word. 
I just want to bring out a few things and then we are going to stand to pray tonight. Are you ready tonight for an encounter? Are you sure you are ready? It seems this side is more ready than this side. Are you sure you are ready? Now the Bible tells us, of course, we know the story. Jesus was going to the house of Jairus to heal his daughter who was sick and almost dying. And this lady was 12 years. And the Bible told us that while he was on his way there, there was a woman who had an infirmity, who had a condition that had lasted for 12 years. So we see a similarity between how long the predicaments were. Here is a young lady who is 12 years and who is dying. And here is another woman who has suffered for 12 years. And the Bible says this woman reached out to Jesus. Of course, she reached out to touch Jesus because Jesus had no plan for her. Jesus did not cross to the other side because he was looking for her. When you read in the previous story before this place, Jesus had crossed over to another city, to another region, just for the sake of one man that was mad, right? But this time around, when Jesus crossed over to the other side, he didn't have any intention for the woman who had the blood condition so there are times when god may not necessarily want to do something about your situation not because he doesn't want to but sometimes because he wants you to exercise your faith to reach out and touch him to command a change there are times when you don't have to wait for god to come to you there are times when you have to reach out to him to touch him in john chapter 7 verse 6 Jesus told them, he said, my time is not now, it's not ready. He said, but your time is always ready. In 2 Corinthians chapter 6, in verse 2, it says, now is the time of salvation. Now is the acceptable time and today is the day of salvation. In Hebrews chapter 11, verse 1, it says, now faith is. So every time you are ready to reach out by faith, to touch God, to touch the power bank that is resident in the Lord Jesus Christ. You make that day your day. You change the programming of heaven's calendar and you occasion that day, that season, that time to become your day and your season of divine visitation. So you don't always wait for God to come to you or you don't always wait for a particular day called a miracle service to come. When your faith is alive and active, you can make every day your day of miracles, of salvation, of deliverance, of restoration, whatever it is that you want to receive from the Lord. The Bible says this woman reached out and touched the helm of his garment. And immediately the condition that had lasted 12 years dried up. Remember that the Bible says she had spent all her livelihood on physicians. She had consulted with doctors, consulted with medical consultants. They have done, probably if it was in our days, they have done all kinds of diagnosis. They've run all kinds of tests. She had gone to several hospitals. They have done everything that they needed to do to examine the condition. But all to no avail. Yet the Bible says when she decided that this will be her season of deliverance. This will be her season of healing. She reached out and touched the border of his garment. The clothes in themselves didn't have power. There was power resident in the one that put on the cloth. But it takes faith to reach out beyond every material obstruction and lay hold of the power. Those of you who know a little bit about electricity and electronics, you know that sometimes all of these electrical wires they cover the main wire with a particular material so that you will not make contact with the direct current that means that material med material medium whether it's plastic or rubber or whatever it is can become what they call it insulator it can block you from accessing the power that is in the live wire yet this woman, even though there was an insulator of the clothes that Jesus was wearing, thick clothes that were made of linen, 
her faith bypassed a natural law. She, she went beyond the material obstruction. She went beyond the insulator. So you may be sitting outside. You may even be following online from another state per adventure or even from another country. As long as your faith can reach out to Jesus that is here tonight, there is no barrier, there is no distance in the realm of the Spirit. Some of you can even go as far as putting in your heart a family member or a friend that needs the touch of God. And just because they are in your heart and you are open to receive from God this service, right where you are sitting, the power of God is hitting them where they are. The centurion told Jesus, he said, I'm not worried to come to your house. Just send the word. Speak the word. And the Bible says, it was the same time that Jesus spoke the word that the servant was healed. I want you to reach out and touch Jesus tonight. The Bible told us that when she taught Jesus, power went out of Jesus and it was, she was made well. Jesus noticed that Jesus didn't complain of power reduction notice that jesus did not complain of re of decrease in power as far as jesus was concerned there was still power available no matter how much current you talk you you draw from an electrical point there is still current enough to draw the bible says jesus walked to the house of jarius and raised a girl who was dead 12 years old that means that there was enough power both for the woman and for Jairus' daughter. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Are you here or you've gone home? Are you here? There was enough power. Just like as I'm talking now, there is enough power going from this pulpit. Just help them. There is enough power going from this pulpit. It is available to everybody. It has enough capacity. It is not like generator. That there are some equipment you can't put on when you switch your generator. In fact, you, the equipment you buy in your house sometimes is based on the generator that you have. But when you are connecting to power holdings, when you are connecting to, you know, elect, el, el, electricity, you know that there is more than enough power to power every e e equipment that is in your house. So there is enough power tonight for the sick to be healed. There is enough power for those who are believing God for miracles. There is enough power for those who have been tied by the enemy. You think it's just a situation that has held you for a long time. Let me tell you the truth. Anything that holds a man bound. Huh? Is a spirit. And that situation needs deliverance. Whether it is delay. In any aspect of your life, whatever it is, if you find yourself trapped in one particular affliction or problem for a long time, then you are in need of deliverance. And the Bible says that the Spirit of the Lord is upon me. It says to proclaim liberty to the captives. How God anointed with Jesus of Nazareth, with the Holy Ghost and with power. God knew that Jesus will have enough troubles in his day. There will be a lot of people in need of the power of God that should be converted in their life for many things. So God did not measure the power he gave to Jesus. In John chapter 3, the Bible says he has given him the spirit without measure. So even though the woman touched the hem of Jesus' garment and power left him, there was yet no reduction of power. There was enough power to still go to the house of Jairus. The problem with the multitude was they were thronging Jesus. They were touching him but without faith. They were touching him but without an expectation. Just like somebody can come for a service without an expectation. Someone can come for a service just to come and watch. He came because they invited him to come and see what God is doing. Why will you see what God is doing in other people's life and not be what God is doing? Why must it be that the power of God that is available tonight is for other people's condition, but your own, your own, only your own, is strong enough to defy that power? And so you have to wait. Why? The multitudes were all over Jesus, yet nothing came to them because they had no expectation. They touched without power. 
Maybe because several of them had been around Jesus' crusade. They had been sitting in the front seat for a long time. Some of them had gotten used to Jesus. Some of them were even disciples of Jesus. Remember the 70 disciples? So they were always with Jesus. They talked with Jesus. They ate with Jesus. They slept with Jesus. So they didn't think that there was so much power available that by a torch, something can enter their life and change them. That was why though they were closer to Jesus than the woman, yet nothing came to them. May that not be your story this night. Some of them felt they had been in the worship team. It's always a service. Let's come and see what God will do. Some of them felt they were workers. Well, our own is to organize the service. Let others receive. So you can, you can be like the multitude who were very close to power that was available. But nothing came to them. Or you can be like the woman who took away over familiarity. She took away every natural limitation and her faith, her, her faith went stronger and greater and farther than her condition. I hope you know that that woman took a risk. The blood condition she had made her always ooze out a foul odor. It is important to note that when you go around people with that kind of stench, they will soon take notice of you and drive you away. And in Jesus' crusades, there were thousands and tens of thousands of people. But she took that away. She took away the reproach and the shame of having a condition. The Bible says it was a blood flow. That means as she walked around, you could see patches of blood around her clothes. You could see traces of blood on the ground. That was enough to discourage. This is a woman we are talking about. A matured person. That was enough to discourage her. But you see, when you are in between your miracle and a feeling of shame and reproach, I don't know which one you will choose. Who cares about what people say? Who cares about what the next person says? Who cares if everybody sees that I'm the one? Some of you say, well, I want God to touch me, but I don't want to fall down like these people so that they will laugh at me. You have chosen your reputation over your, your miracle. You have chosen your own identity. You have chosen your, 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 your what? your what your 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 what of your sense of what self what over your visitation but the woman reached out and touched him she reached out and touched him and Jairus too was was foolish enough to believe Jesus told him he said only believe when they came and told him that the daughter is dead already so you may be in this service and your condition may go from bad to worse. Even now as I'm preaching, Jesus said, only believe. Tell your neighbor, only believe. I have never seen a man who come to God with complete faith that did not receive anything from God. The Bible says, for he that cometh to God must believe that he is. And that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. There must be complete faith, absolute faith in your heart. Why will God do it next week when he can do it now? Why will God do it next month when he can do it now? Why waiting for a big crusade somewhere when now can be your season? Now can be your time. So you must have the right heart. Your heart must be open. He says, whatsoever thing you desire, Mark 11, 24, whatsoever thing you desire, he says, when you pray, believe that you receive and you will have them. But in James chapter 1, he says, a double-minded man is unstable when there is doubt, when there is shaking in your mind. Some of you right now, as you are listening to me, a point can come in this service that, that the devil may carry in your imagination. He may carry your situation and place it right in front of you and make you feel that there is no change that can come to that. Some of you have loved ones who are sick and they are dying. They've given up on them. And the devil is giving you a picture of a funeral. And you have accepted the funeral more than the power of resurrection that is available. Why should somebody die in your family in this season of the Passover? Why should someone die around you? Why should there be death around you when this is the season of resurrection?
So I came to encourage you tonight before we stand to pray. I want you to reach out in faith. I want you to touch him. That right there where you are seated, inside or outside or online, right there, that the power of God knows who you are, knows what is wrong with you. And the power of God is so intelligent that you don't need to tell it what to do when it comes into your life. It is intelligent enough. The Bible says in Psalms 107 verse 20, He sent His word and healed them and delivered them from their destructions. Whether it is poverty, it is a destruction. Whether it is delay, it is a destruction. Whether it is satanic oppression, witchcraft oppression, marine manipulation, whether it is, it, it is lack, whether it is marital delay, whatever it is, no job for a long time, career retrogression whatever it is there is no measure to the power of god that is able and available not just able but available to touch you are you ready to pray tonight in luke chapter 13 one more scripture and we are done tonight In Luke chapter 13 from verse 11 down to 16, the scripture tells us about a woman that Jesus met in the synagogue. It would interest you to know that there were many times Jesus would teach in the synagogue without healing. In fact, there was a time the Bible says he was teaching in the synagogue and the Pharisees and Sadducees, they were there. And the power of God was present to heal, yet no healing was recorded, yet no miracle was recorded. You know why? Not because there was no power available, but because of the set of people that were there. The set of people that were there. They were people who came just for a service. They came because Jesus was the happening guy around. They came because Pneumatech is becoming the happening program around. So let's go and see that small boy. And though the power of God was available, I don't know why I'm going this way again and again and again. Though the power of God was present to heal, yet there was no healing recorded in that service because of the kind of people that were there. Yet on this day, glorious day, Jesus was in the temple, in the synagogue preaching. And the Bible says there was a woman who had been bound by the spirit of infirmity for 18 years. When you find a disease condition that has plagued the life of a man for several years, for several months when you find somebody suffering from a particular affliction you are not just dealing with a disease you are dealing with a spirit it is called the spirit of infirmity they said it is cancer they said it is chronic waist pain they said they, they, said, they said it is myopia it is glaucoma brother it's not just a disease there is a spirit involved behind it there is a spirit that is sponsoring it. That is why it has defied every medical law. Every medical means of solution. The Bible says this woman was bound. And Jesus had to stop. God is so concerned about your deliverance. That God does not mind whether it was a word service or a prayer or a power service. That every time the children of God are present, there must be liberty to the captives. Jesus told them when the question him, he said, Ought not this woman, a daughter of Abraham? So deliverance is not to unbelievers, it's to believers. There are some of you looking at me now, respectfully speaking. I came to just let you know that that thing that has been a yoke in your life, it has been there because there is a spirit responsible. And if you are to be open to seek deliverance, tonight you will be delivered. I said, Tonight you will be delivered. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me because the Lord has anointed me to preach the good news to the poor. He has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives and the recovery of sight to the blind. When you read Luke's Gospel chapter 4 from verse 18, there were two times he spoke about captivity. He said to proclaim liberty to the captives. 
and to set at liberty them that are oppressed to proclaim liberty to the captives and to set at liberty them that are oppressed one is a captive the other one is oppressed do you know the meaning the one that is oppressed satan is standing in their life to oppress them illegally maybe a disease condition maybe poverty maybe delay whatever it is for a long time satan has cheated them of their right for the captives he's talking about lawful captivity in other words for this set of people satan has a right he has a reason some of you may be ancestral curses in your lineage some of you ancestral patterns patterns of poverty patterns of retrogression patterns of failure in marriage things that were orchestrated before you were born and you were only born to inherit them god said in his word he said no longer shall this proverb be used in israel that the fathers have eaten sour grapes and the children's teeth are set on edge he said for all souls are mine the soul of the father and the soul of the son and the soul that sinned shall die tonight we are going to call on the mercy of god anything that has plagued your life that you have no answer to why it has been for a long time anything that you inherited from your father your father's father your mother your mother's mother anything that was entrenched in your foundations you were only born to begin to experience it when you were an unbeliever there was nothing like that but the moment you made a decision for jesus and began to be on fire for god satan had a legal ground to hold you today there will be deliverance for you I can't hear you. I said today there will be deliverance for you. He said, For I will contend with him that contends with thee. And I will save your children. I feel a strong anointing in this place for healing, for miracles, and for deliverance. Right where you are sitting, I want you to pray in the spirit for two minutes. I want you to pray in the oh, I feel I feel an anointing so strong. Ah, I can't hear you. Reach out in faith through your prayers right now. I can't hear you. Pneumatic, raise your voice. Raise your voice. Shela para hatakabe ragadiyamo. Raise your voice, raise your voice, raise your voice. Captivity is coming under attack tonight. Every yoke will be destroyed tonight. Every chain will be broken tonight. Afflictions will be rolled away. Something happened. And now I know. He touched
God is about to touch your body right now. You sent your word and you healed my disease. You are the Lord, our healer. You are the Lord that He led me. You are the Lord, our healer. God is about to heal tonight. You sent your word. And you heal the disease. You are the Lord. Touch me with your hands. Oh Lord. Touch me with your hands. Oh Lord. Touch me with your hands, oh Lord. Touch me with your hands, oh, oh Lord. Do not let me go the same way that I gave. Hey, Ayaka Makua. Touch me with your hand. Oh, God. Eke kwa la kwa. Ay, no twa liya. Etu makagi. Eze. Etu my God, there's power here. There's power here. There's power here tonight. Jesus, I Jesus, I Jesus. Glorious thing, amazing God, you do my glory thing, amazing God. in Jesus' name. Jehovah Rapha is in this place tonight. He said, For I am the Lord that He led thee. Everybody standing everywhere, inside, outside, following online. If you are sick, I want you to put your right hand wherever the condition is. We are going to pray for the sick right now. Please listen, we are about to pray. If you are sick, put your right hand where the condition is. Whether it's a pain, whatever it is that is wrong with your body. Make contact with that place. 
through your right hand. If there's someone at home or in the hospital that is connected to you, you want to believe God for their healing, I want you to take your phone, call somebody there and leave it on. We are going to pray. If you can't reach anybody where they are with the phone, just lift your left hand or your right hand to heaven and connect tonight. If you are sick, place your right hand here. Listen, there will not just be healings alone, there will be miracles. Are you hearing me? Some of you need recreative miracles. Some of you need restorative miracles. Missing body parts are going to come back this night. I didn't hear your amen. You sounded like you didn't believe. Missing body parts will come back today, tonight. Are you hearing me? Listen. Tissues that were lost. Organs that are failing. The resurrection power of Jesus is going to touch them right now. Put your right hand where it is. If it's a blood condition, just lift your right hand. If you are standing in for somebody, lift your right hand. If you are standing for somebody and you can call them, call them, leave the phone on. I'm going to pray in the next 60 seconds. You sent your word and you healed our disease. I want you to believe God tonight. Tonight is your night to be free from every infirmity, every affliction. Some of you, even afflictions that you have forgotten that you have them. It has become part of you. You are now used to it. Put your right hand there. God is going to touch you right now. You are the Lord. Our healer. You sent your word. And you healed our disease. You are the Lord. If you are lifting your hands, lift it high above your head or place your right hand where that condition is. Oh Father, thank you for your healing presence. Thank you for your healing presence that is in this place. Thank you for your healing presence that is in this place. Somebody is going to shout very loud under the anointing and then I'll begin to pray. Very loud under the anointing and then I'll begin to pray. That's going to be the sign that the healing angel has been released. Father, thank you. Father, thank you. Father, thank you. Father, thank you. Place your right hand where the condition is. Lift your hand above your head if you are lifting it up. Father, tonight, in the name of Jesus, I take authority against the spirit of infirmity. I take authority against the spirit of affliction. You devil of affliction that has held God's people bound. I command you in the name that is above every other name. Take your hands off their life. And let them go now. I break your hold over their lives. I break the reign of that affliction over your life. I terminate the reign of that affliction over your life. I command those spirits of affliction to go now. Go now. In the name of Jesus. I command those devils to go now. Go now. Go now. Out of their lives now. In the name of Jesus. And now I speak to every organ, every tissue, every cell, every part of your body, from the crown of your head to the sole of your feet. I declare, be healed now. Be healed right now. Receive the touch of God's healing presence now. In the name of Jesus. Receive the touch of God's healing presence now. 
receive God's healing touch now. The healing power of God goes through your body, all over 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 your body. Let pains disappear. Let growth disappear. Every growth disappear now. Disappear now. Disappear now. I rebuke terminal diseases. Diabetes go now. Ulcer go now. High blood pressure go now. Hypertension go now. In the name of Jesus. Let sickle cell be corrected right now. I bind that demon of sickle cell. And in the name of Jesus, I declare AS and SS is turned to AA now. Let genotypes be changed now. Let the power of God walk in your blood right now. I command blood conditions to be healed now. HIV go now. AIDS go now. In the name of Jesus. Restore respiratory conditions. Respiratory conditions. Asthma. Any kind of respiratory condition. I declare be healed now. Be healed now. The power of God comes on your lungs. The power of God comes on your lungs. The power of God goes through your nostrils. Be healed now. I rebuke every eye condition here. Glaucoma. Long sightedness. Short sightedness. River blindness, color blindness, every form of eye defect, eye cataract, eyes that are almost getting blind. I command those conditions be healed now in the name of Jesus. Be healed now in the name of Jesus. Headaches of any kind be healed now from the crown of your head to the sole of your feet. The Lord touch you right now. The hand of the Lord comes on your kidneys. Comes on your livers. Comes on your spleen. Comes on every digestive organ. Every organ in your body. Receive the touch of God right now. Gastritis be healed now. Ulcer go now. Liver conditions be healed now. In the name of Jesus. That demon of kidney affliction, that demon of kidney affliction, I rebuke you right now. I command you to come out of the organs now. And I declare every kidney condition be healed. Be healed. Be healed. Be healed. Be healed. Be healed. In the name of Jesus. Father, thank you because you have made them whole. You are set free tonight. You are set free tonight. The pains are disappearing now. In the name of Jesus. Wave your hands and give the Lord praise. Wave your hands and give Him praise. Father, we thank you. In the name of Jesus. Those of you that the Lord touched, if you are sick, I want you to do what you couldn't do right now. Listen, test yourself. If it was a pain, check that place. No more pain. Do what you couldn't do. And once you notice that there's improvement or you are totally healed, I want you to rush to the front tonight. Those of you that made a call to someone out there who, is, who has a, a, you know, a sickness or an affliction, go back and call them right now find out the improvement of that person's condition and bring us word with a testimony those of you that are streaming online whether facebook 
or mixlr whatever platform you are streaming on i want you to check yourself if god has touched you i want you to send us a message right now how do, how can they send a message how okay send and send an a message to our email which email is that sgni pneumatic pr put it on the screen put it online if god has touched you online please send us a word of your healing sgni pneumatic pr at gmail.com send us let us know what god has done god is healing somebody there's somebody there's a lady with a, a, a condition that has to do with blood blood condition is like blood leaves your body i don't know but it has to do with blood you are online god has touched you right now in fact as soon as i said god has touched you now you felt something go through your body send us a word god has healed you you are a lady god has healed you right now send us a word on our email or send us a word or a text message through our pr line uh, that will be displayed on your platform and let us know that god has touched you those of you that have been healed i want you to rush to the front quickly let's take your testimonies no testimony is too small inside or outside if god has healed you let's take the testimonies and then after we are going to switch to another dimension while you are standing father i declare in the name of jesus that there will be miracles in this place let the angels that are standing by on my left and my right begin to move in this place let there be miracles of every kind let let there be miracles of every kind let there be financial miracles let there be miracle miracle emails miracles in your homes miracles in your families everywhere miracles in this place in the name of jesus i declare miracles everywhere now by the movement of the angels of the lord miracles everywhere now in the name of jesus i speak to your bank accounts i command the south wind of abundance to blow i declare miracles in your bank accounts I declare miracles on your bank accounts let the angels of the Lord begin to work right now I declare miracles in your bank accounts there is miracles or oh, there are miracles happening right now I know it I can feel it there are miracles happening right now there are miracles happening there's someone who has been healed you are a guy you have been healed of a condition around your private area and the sign is that there used to be pains there you have been healed you have been healed god has touched you you have been healed in the name of jesus don't be shy let's get your testimony whether you are following online the healing is yours but the testimony belongs to god the woman came before jesus and narrated her testimony and jesus said your faith has made you whole when God heals you and you testify, He makes you whole. If God heals you and you don't testify, you are not made whole. The affliction can return. But when God heals you and you testify, you are being made whole. There will be no repeat of that affliction. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'm just looking for a song that I can sing. Holy, most holy is the lord god is the lord god is the lord god holy most holy is the lord god is the lord god I see the angel of the Lord going to somebody's house here. Yeah. I've seen the angel of the Lord going to somebody's house. In your household, there's somebody with the name John. John, I saw an angel being dispatched to your house. God is fixing every problem that is in the family right now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Keep coming.
coming out if God has touched you or you have gotten a testimony for us whether from home or online please come out let's get the testimony quickly God is doing amazing things tonight Amen. sing it one more time Hallelujah. 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 to see this vision but listen carefully there's a lady there's an affliction that God is taking out of your body right now sometimes I see it like this now right now the power of God is on you you are going to feel like a discharge like something coming out of your body like a discharge something will come out so you will have to use the bathroom very soon and as soon as that happened you have been made whole completely the power of god is on you right now that affliction that devil is leaving your body you are going to feel like a discharge like something will come out of your body and you will use the bathroom god is touching you i want us to get that testimony if you are that lady when you use the bathroom and come back let us know what god has done to you don't be ashamed the woman with the issue of blood she came out and confessed what god had done to her all right your healing is the healing of others that your testimony is the key to other people's healing when i'm talking like this now it may be happening to more than one person but as soon as you get that testimony it activates the healing of other pe other people hallelujah do we feel how many of you sense the presence of god so strong now look at the healings already the numbers are piling up can we celebrate the lord for these numbers <laughs> hallelujah please be seated everybody let's get the testimony god is still healing people there are healings going on everywhere your throat your neck your stomach god is touching people every condition check yourself god is touching you right now no matter how old or young you are let us get your testimony very quick there's somebody i feel you listen there's somebody you are feeling like a heavy load on your chest is being lifted right now and because of that load you feel a sharp pain a slight and sharp pain around your chest that is usually there sometimes it's there sometimes it's not but right now as i speak to you the power of god is on you that load that affliction is lifted and you are feeling like a load will be lifted the pain is gone check yourself come out and let's know god has healed you if you are following online let us get your testimony quickly yes let's hear you sir papa sir this is sister masu giant all right while the ministration was going on please help the mic i want it to be louder 
you yes. asked us to take yes. our phones and call our loved ones who are sick yes and she quickly took a step of faith and she called her dad okay her dad was diagnosed he had stroke both legs he yes. could not walk he could not this walk. is for two weeks for two weeks but immediately she went outside she called him and said connect and he connected to the prayer and she called him back to realize that he could walk on his feet at the sound of the word he's walking and he's doing fine he's walking he's right online. now yes are you just looking are you just looking Stroke. hallelujah stroke for two weeks for two weeks he could not walk stroke is a very bad this disease oh my dear god has made him whole Amen. he's walking go and tell him that i said that affliction will not return back again. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Please be seated. Hallelujah. Amen. That, that song. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Play it for us. Hallelujah. Okay, boots. You boots. Okay? Then we are going to sing that. I'm going to take you to old school. Are you hearing me? We are going to do some old school songs today. And then after that, I will minister deliverance to some people. There are those, those demons who receive old school anointing today. So warm yourself up. Yes, sir. Next. Is, Sister Jubilee came with a leg pain. Yes, the PR official. Yes. <laughs> she came with pain on her legs. How and long? She could not... Um, for three days. Three days. Yes, and what's happening now? I took a bold step of wearing heels. I've okay. not worn heels for four, for close to five months because okay. of the pain. You've but not worn heels for five months. Yes, sir. And now? Today I took a bold step to come to church with heels. Oh, yeah, walk with the heels. Let's see. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Five months. Yes, sir. Let me hear you. Please help us with the mic. Sir. Yes, sir. Bro, Christopher mic has been down since last two days with lethargy, fever, dizziness. But ever since the declaration, he discovered that he received. It's been healed. Yes, sir. All the pains gone. Everything disappeared. It is perfected in the name of Jesus. Can you give Jesus praise everywhere? If you know you didn't heal them, give Jesus. A big hand of praise. Amen. Yes, sir. Papa, this is Sister Cynthia. She had a fracture on her shoulder bone, and um, fracture on her fracture. shoulder. Yes, for twin for since 2021. Okay. And now, while the menstruation was going on, she felt a crack, a shift, and now you are healed. That same shoulder. Yes. This very one. That one. Yes. The right one. Yes, sir. Do what you couldn't do before. Praising the Lord all the way. Praising the Lord. Praising the Lord. For those of you who don't know me, I was a musician before I started preaching. Amen. So we'll do a lot of old school today. I feel, I feel an anointing here. I tell you, there's something, something is on me strange today. Amen. Ah, 
You go carry this night. Oh. You go carry this night. Yes, sir. Let me hear you. Papa, this is Anne Solomon. Please be seated. Anne Solomon. Yes, yes. sir. She came with the, a swollen leg. Mm-hmm. Her legs were sol- swollen for over eight Which years. Which one? Let's see. Huh? This. Oh, the yes. Left, yes, the I, can, I can literally see it from here. The yes. left. Swollen. It, it was more than this. Wow. And it has been for eight years. Eight. Is that an elephantiasis? No. Swollen. Just swollen. Yes, eight sir. years. Yes, sir. And what happened now? It has gone down. Were you feeling pains there before? No pain. Were there things you couldn't do before? Before? I can do anything. Everything. I know before before now. Before now. Were there things you couldn't do with the leg? No. But it was just swelling. Yes. And now it has gone down. Yes. Sir. Come here. God is going to perfect it. Bring it. Come. Look at this. Bring her up here. And you can literally... Oh, we don't have cameras here. You can literally see... The swelling on the just stand here on the left see that everything from the knee down to the foot face me face me face me lift your hands come lift your hands father i rebuke this devil right now and i ask by the power of the holy spirit let this affliction be over in the name of Jesus. It is done. It is done. Give Jesus praise. Yes, sir. Sir, this is Victor. Yes. He had a growth in his hand. He has been booked for operation. A growth in his hand. What? Well, literally. You have been booked for operation when? When is the operation? It, sh- it should be tomorrow. It should be tomorrow. Yes. Oh, it was supposed to be tomorrow. Yes. And now what happened? The growth is not there. You could see the hand, but the growth is not there. Hey! 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 Hallelujah. Three places. Yes, sir. And it was supposed to be operated tomorrow. Sir, they have operated me already two times. Oh, they've operated you two times? Yes. The third one. This one. Hold my hand. Oh, Lord. So that I was okay. Bye. It's over forever. In the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. This is Grace healed of respiratory distress that lasted for two days. A respiratory what? Distress. Distress. Yes, sir. I don't know. Explain to us. Yeah, please. she couldn't breathe normally. Normally. Yes, sir. Wow. For how long? For two days. Since for last two days. two days. Yes, sir. And now? Now she can breathe normal. Breathe in. Breathe in again. That's the, that's that's how fresh air is. Huh? That's the smell of fresh air. It is perfected in the name of Jesus Christ. Bishop, let me hear you. Yes, sir. This is Brother Enoch. You talked about when you mentioned that someone will feel yes. pain in his reproductive system. So he quickly went to the toilet and eased himself and there is the pain is gone. Instantly. Where, where sir? Where? Okay, okay. You know, it's a private issue. But you remember that word? Yes, sir. It is done in the name of Jesus. Amen. Now, sir, you will, God will use you to heal people so much. Amen. Amen. That by just touching them, before even saying in Jesus' name, the Amen. conditions will leave. Amen. And that grace has been activated in your life from today. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Give Jesus praise. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. This is Sister Margaret Alasa. She came in with severe body pain and headache. Severe body pain. And headache that lasted for two weeks. Two weeks. Yes, sir. Wow. After the declaration, she received her healing. Come. Let's test. Body pain. All over. I want you to walk to that place. Let's see. How do you feel now? Complete. Run this way. Let's see. Are you just looking? Pneumatic, you are too used to miracles. 
It is gone forever in Jesus name. Yes sir. Yes papa, this is Lieutenant Mrs. Emmanuel. Her and her husband had an eye condition. Wait, wait, wait. An eye condition that looks like like sand enters your eye and then you feel like there is sand in your eye. Yes, her and her husband. But why the prayer was going Is there on? a medical doctor here please? Yes, can, what, what what do you call that condition? Huh? What would you call that condition? Sun in your eyes. How long? Over two months now. Over two months. What will you call that? It's a foreign body presence in the eye. Okay, that's what, that's how they call it. Foreign body presence in the eye. But you can't see the body. But it's there. You and your husband. Yes, sir. And now? It's gone. How about your husband? She called him. You called him. He was yes, connecting, he connecting to the service. Are you just looking? Are you just looking? As God has healed you and your husband, God will visit you again. Let this be a season of divine visitation again. In the name of Jesus. Can we give Jesus praise for that? Yes, sir. No, I'm just, I wanted to sing a song. I just. <laughs> yes, sir. Go ahead, please. Yes, sir. This is Hep Ziva. Yeah. She has been suffering from asthma. So one of the obvious symptoms that the mom yes. noticed with the ulcer that whenever she's sleeping or whenever she's breathing, mm. there's this wheezy sound that the mother normally hears. She makes a wheezy sound. Yes, sir. So after the declaration, you prayed for people with respiratory Condition. conditions. Yes. So in fact, they're here with their inhaler, salbutamol inhaler. Yeah. She's sleeping right now. Yes, sir. Put the mic on her nose. Let's see if there's still wheezy sound. Jesus conquered the world and gave us victory. Victory, victory. Hallelujah. My Jesus conquered the world and gave us victory. So victory, victory. Hallelujah. I said today is old school. Amen. There are demons that will fall off families right now. <laughs> Look at me. I'm not just talking. I can see them. They will go tonight. They will go. They will go. Stand on your feet. I know that God is still healing people, so let's try to get the testimonies online and all of that. Let's just know what God is doing in our midst. Thank you, Jesus. Emmanuel, Emmanuel. Emmanuel, Emmanuel, your name be praised. Emmanuel, 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 Emmanuel. We're going to take some prayers now. Don't worry, I'll come back to the healing. We're going to take one, two prayer points. Are you hearing me? How many of you are ready to pray? Every walk of wickedness around your life will fall down today. Yeah. Are you hearing what I'm saying? He said to set at liberty them that are oppressed. Whether it is witchcraft, whether it is marine powers, whether they are village powers, ancestral powers, 
every attack that has prevailed before now over your life it will come down tonight in the name of Jesus we are going to pray and judge wickedness in our families are you ready to pray do you believe in that prayer if there is no judgment there can't be deliverance ask your neighbor if you are ready to pray <laughs> if there is no judgment there cannot be what deliverance the bible says in the book of numbers in chapter 34 33 rather he say and and the lord judged the gods of egypt and they were free When I go in my Lord Jesus Every into the battle, I am a winner. When I go with my Lord Jesus into the battle, I am a winner. When I go with my Lord Jesus into the battle, I am a winner. When I go with my Lord Jesus into the battle, that's the song. Hey, when I go with my Lord Jesus into the battle, I am a winner. When I go with my Lord Jesus into the battle, I am a winner. Hey, when I go with my Lord Jesus into the battle, I am a winner. Wait, wait. I, I said we want to pray warfare. So, wait, listen. When people want to go for war in those days, they bring out the drums, the musicians, and they begin to play. So that the spirit of their gods can come on them for battle. And the Bible says in Isaiah, God said, He said, I will arise as a man of war. In Exodus 15, He said, The Lord God is a man of war. The Lord God is His name. And look at the way you are singing. If you were as agile and as strong as your enemy, you would have defeated them by now. Are you hearing me? We are about to pray some warfare prayers here. This April will give birth to something for you. And the hand of wickedness in your life will fall down flat. So can we go old school again? If your neighbor is not ready to sing and dance, look for another neighbor. Are you hearing me? When I go with my Lord Jesus into the battle, I am a winner. When I go with my Lord Jesus into the battle, I am a winner. I say when I go with my Lord Jesus into the battle, I am a winner. When I go with my Lord Jesus into the battle, I am a winner. I say when I go with my Lord Jesus into the battle, I am a winner. When I go with my Lord Jesus into the battle, I am a winner. Your hands like this. Jesus into the battle, I am a winner. When I go with my Lord Jesus into the battle, I am a winner. When I go with my Lord Jesus into the battle, I am a winner. When I go with my Lord Jesus into the battle, I am a winner. When I go with my Lord Jesus into the battle, I am a winner. When I go with my Lord Jesus into the when I go with my love, Jesus, into the battle, I am a winner. When I go with my love, Jesus, into the battle, I am a winner. When I go with my love, Jesus, into the battle, I am a winner. When I go with my love, Jesus, into the battle, I am a winner. Hallelujah. Shout it! Hallelujah!
Now you see, last night, listen. Now listen, I'm about to minister deliverance now. Last night, between 1 to 2 a.m., I was praying. And I felt a contention in the spirit. And from nowhere, that first song came out. When I go with my Lord Jesus into the battle. Let me teach you, listen, let me, let me teach you how to walk in the spirit. When you are in that situation, sing that song till your whole body and being is energized by it. What is happening at that time is that God is arising on the strength of that song. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Uh -huh. I'm about to minister deliverance now. Psalm 7 verse 9. Psalm 7 verse 9. You still have some reports there. Okay. Put Psalm 7 verse 9 on the screen. Let's hear you, sir, quickly before we pray. Bro Solomon has been suffering from abdominal pain that comes and goes since July 2021. Wow. In fact, he even came into the service with that pain. That wow. sharp pain. That's almost two years. Yes, sir. And now? And as soon as you started declaring, so he discovered that the sharp pain disappeared instantly. I want to declare over your life on the strength of that testimony. Every arrow from the enemy that was projected into your life, projected into your body, and it has been there till now, I command that arrow to be reversed to the sender. I reverse that arrow to the sender. In the name of Jesus Christ. Look at this, we're about to pray now. He said, oh, let the wickedness of the wicked come to an end. But establish that establish the just you're going to cry to god listen i want to if your neighbor is not praying eh he may be the enemy i want you to look for a neighbor that prays this scripture is the prayer every form of wickedness around my life around my family whether i am aware of it or not let it come to an end today are you ready to pray Lift your voice and fire prayer in the name of Jesus. I can't hear you. I can't hear you. I can't hear you. Ya ta 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 
To set at liberty them that are oppressed. Father, thank you for the angels that are standing by my right and by my left. Thank you for the ministry of deliverance that you have committed to us by the power of the anointing of the Spirit. Therefore, I command in the name of Jesus every arrow of the enemy that was fired into your body whether through dreams or physically i command that arrow to be uprooted right now listen there are at least eight of you eight of you there is something inside of the body it doesn't belong there it was fired into your body by the enemy there are at least eight of you right now by the ministry of fire from my left to my right everything that was fired into your body i command it to be flushed out flushed out flushed out flushed out flushed out Flo help them flushed out flushed out by fire by fire by fire every curse every satanic utterance every speech either by a man or by a demonic spirit that has been over your life over your family and has been carrying a wave of bad luck round about you i command that dark cloud be rolled away now i command that curse to be broken now Hey, Parago Sakataya, I command that cause to be broken now. Help them be broken now. Be broken now. Help them. There's fire everywhere. There's fire everywhere. There's fire. Every cause. Matana Patana. Ancestral. Territorial. Every cause in your family. Every cause of poverty, every cause of delay, every cause of lack, every cause of a witch, of a wizard that was placed on your family. I revoke it, I revoke it, I revoke it by fire. I revoke it and I declare back to sender, 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 back to sender. Just help them everywhere. The power of God is in this place. Hey! Shanda Baranga Lahatai. Altars. Satanic altars. Demonic altars. Andakapurokotoya. I see. Look, look at me. Just help them. You see some people literally running. The power of God will come on some people. They will feel like running. Help them so that they don't injure themselves. Alta, satanic altars, witchcraft altars, village altars, marine altars, occultic altars. I pronounce fire on those altars. Fire on those altars. Ah, fire on those altars. Fire on those altars. Fire on those altars. Fire on those altars. 
Yes, yes, help them, help them everywhere. The power of God, the power of God from my left to my right. Let the angels of the Lord begin to move, begin to move across this place, begin to move all through this hall from my left to my right, inside and outside. Let the angels of fire, the angels of lightning, the angels of thunder begin to move. Let altars, satanic altars be destroyed. Let altars be destroyed. Catch fire now. Catch fire now. Catch fire now. Can I just walk through this place? When I go with my Lord Jesus into the battle, I am a winner. When I go with my Lord Jesus into the battle, listen, everybody just stand everywhere. No movement, allow only the ushers and protocols to move. I'm going to walk very quickly all through the ranks, all through the aisle. God is dealing with family issues. There are spirits in the bloodline. Spirits in the family. They will go. They will come out of people now by fire. God told me this week that he has increased the angelic activities around me. Right now, the angels are standing by my left and my right. And I declare by wind and by fire, every spirit that is hiding in any family that is not of God, that has sponsored poverty, that has sponsored delay, that has sponsored witchcraft, as I walk through this aisle, let there be massive deliverance. Let there be massive deliverance. Let there be massive now, 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 deliverance by fire, by wild wind. Let there be deliverance. Let there be deliverance. Aparagata kosa paragada, ekoska paragada, shaka ta paragada, epatos kapala. Let us let chains fall. Let chains be broken. Let the spell be broken. Let the spell now, 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 by fire, 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 by fire. Help them, help them everywhere, everywhere, everywhere. Fire, 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 fire. I command those spirits to go, 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 go. Go, 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 in the name of Jesus, go, 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 help them, help them, go, 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 go. Help them. I uproot your hold, I break your hold over their lives, I break your hold now. Your reign of terror is over. your hands I want to speak over your lives father I declare in the name of Jesus every cycle every satanic and demonic cycle that has been operating in the life of your children I command it today be broken be broken be broken by the power of the Spirit of God, I reconfigure your life for greatness. Amen. I reconfigure your life for success. Amen. By the power of Him who died and rose again, I declare a season of new beginnings. 
help that lady a season of new beginnings every spirit that has been hiding and operating in families here right now by the ministry of fire your time is over i command you go 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 i open you to a season of prosperity i open you to a season of fulfillment that woman wearing yellow is it yellow with shiny material tying your head yes the word of the lord to your family is bringing a season of joy to you and to your family says the spirit of the lord look at me madam i stretch my hands towards you let the oil of joy and the oil of gladness come upon you and enter your family to help her in the name of jesus your story has changed everyone trusting god for promotion i declare that it comes to you now promotion of any kind receive it now those of you in ministry lift your hands if you are into ministry music ministry ministry of the world any kind of ministry or you know you are called lift your hands the rest of you put down your hands if you know you have a calling on your life father i ask that the angels of the lord would distribute fire all, of, all across this place and the lord is saying it is a season for a fresh anointing receive it now receive it now take that fresh anointing now take it 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 now fresh anointing that's it every prayer altar that has been dead the fire of god comes upon you right now let that prayer altar come alive now let that prayer altar come alive now come alive now come alive now lift your hands everybody i see the angel of the lord distributing gifts on people spiritual gifts spiritual gifts lift your hands and receive it spiritual gifts spiritual gifts receive it receive it receive it receive it receive it receive it the gift of diverse tongues interpretation of tongues prophecy healings workings of miracles the gift of faith the gift of the spirit of wisdom gifts of revelation discerning of spirit receive it now receive it father i pray for all your children here i declare that in this second quarter of the year from now to the end of june may you experience divine intervention may god arise on your behalf by day and by night i declare that from now until the end of june every time you call upon the lord he will answer by fire he will answer by fire he will answer by fire everyone that has been delayed i open you up to your season anyone that has been delayed i open up your seasons now i open up your seasons now i declare in the month of april receive the help of men and the help of angels receive the help of men and the help of angels those of you that have family members you are trusting god to do something in their lives either a job a healing a change of status a change of level i declare by he that had the key of david 
let every door that has been shut over your family members today I declare it open I command it open the gates of brass have been broken the gates of limitation have been broken I declare extension of contracts I declare new contracts I declare financial miracles I declare financial abundance I bring an end to that season of dryness I bring an end to that season of dryness in Jesus mighty name finally I pray for your spiritual life and after this I'll make the altar call this month the appetite to love the Lord passionately to love the Lord beyond any physical condition be baptized with that appetite now be baptized with that grace now Ramba Kata. be baptized with that grace now great grace is upon you today step into a new season the old has gone the new has come in the name of Jesus clap your hands and celebrate the Lord just two minutes and we are done tonight everybody standing no movement anywhere except those who are under the anointing I want to make an altar call right now there are those who need to say yes to Jesus today today there is one person here two persons here today is your day of salvation today is your day to return to the Lord Jesus if you are here and you want to say yes to Jesus you want to give your heart to the Lord you want to be born again I want you to walk to the front quickly no wasting of time no looking at anybody or you want to rededicate your life you want to return back to God things have not been so good between you and God recently and you want to return back to the bishop of your soul everybody standing everywhere I want you to walk to the front quickly quickly and as they come celebrate them I have decided to follow Jesus I have decided to follow Jesus I'm waiting for you don't be shy I'm waiting for you forget about who is around you come to Jesus come to Jesus now surrender to his love surrender to his love keep clapping they are coming that boy that girl that man that woman God is calling you back to him God is calling you back to him I have decided to follow Jesus, no turning back, no turning back. Matek, please stretch your hands towards them, inside and outside. If you are following online and you want to make this decision, please make these prayers after me. Those of you in front, I salute your courage and I want you to know that your, a new day has come for you. Put your right hand on your chest if you are in front. Say this prayer after me. Say, Lord Jesus, I come to you today. I repent of my old ways and I surrender to your love. Thank you for dying on the cross to save me. I receive therefore your life today in Jesus name father I ask that these ones today you will seal them with your spirit of promise I declare by the power of the blood of redemption that their sins are forgiven I declare that every record against them has been wiped out by the blood their past is over a new beginning and a new future in Christ Jesus is here for them. I declare from today that they are born again. May they love you passionately and serve you.